वेलकम बैक टू आर एस एस टी क्लास रूम स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर राइट दैट इज लेसन नंबर एट टेम्परेट ग्रास लैंड एंड इन दैट वर्ड वी हैव डिस्कस वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट लोकेशन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट क्लाइमेट वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट ग्रास लैंड एंड वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट प्लांट लैंड स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फार्मिंग industries and human life of tamre grassland so students first we talk about the farming students in the prairie region of north america here you will see the river mississippi and missouri and then tributaries flow in this region and hence this made the grassland soil very fertile so students you all know in the fertile soil it is very easy to grow crops so students here you will see wheat is grown in plenty and hence the prairie is known for the wheat wheat basket of the world why because here you will see the wheat is grown in plenty and hence the prairie is known as the wheat basket of the world students usa is a largest exporter of wheat in the world okay i hope students you all have understood it here yeah. okay. special grasses such as alfalfa and clover are grown as fodder for animals okay students now we are going to talk about industry students many minerals are found in some part of prairies the pampas and the veld students the lignite the most inferior quality of coal and mineral oil are mined in large quantities here students of extracting factories and oil refineries have also been developed here the most important industry in the grassland is the meat packing industry you can see in the picture students the most important industry in the grassland is the meat packing industry students gold and diamond mines are famous in the veld region of south africa okay so in this region in south africa gold and mine are very famous students do you know today grassland face many issues such as overgrazing urban development and agriculture encroachment students we should protect this ecosystem and maintain a healthy balance in nature okay so now students i hope you all have understood about industries now we are going to talk about human life students the farmer who live in this grassland are well off they have huge farm okay so students you will see the farmer those who live in the grasslands are they are well off they have a huge farms they own many efficient farm machine to help them cultivate their vast farm all the work such as plowing sowing harvesting and threshing is done by machines you can see in the picture students all the works are done by the machine students even the storing of food grain is in the silos is also done by machine okay the storing of food grain in the silos is also done by machines students here you see only few workers are required to cultivate thousands hectares of land since every work is done by modern machine students students on every farm there are small homestead you can see in the picture students on every farm there are small homestead students you know what is homestead a farm house where farmer live with his family okay so every farm you will see there are a small homestead laborers who work on the farm also live near the homestead 
okay students an average farm year is spread over thousands of hectares there are separate sheds for farm animals and machineries okay students students people living in grassland are continuously trying to improve their lifestyle with the scientific discovery and new technology okay i hope students you all have understood about human life in temperate grassland now students what you are going to do you all have to read the textbook and underline all the important points so here we completed our chapter that is a temperate grassland okay thank you